Hello, Capricorn! It's time for your mid-September to October reading of this current year. Yes! How are y'all doing today, my fellow goatfish peoples? A little John Belushi there for anybody who's a fan. If you're not a fan of John Belushi, there's something wrong with you. Anyway, before we get started, thank you to everybody who views, subscribes, get personal readings from me. I greatly appreciate y'all. Y'all make this a little bit more fun than what you realize. But now back to business, of course. Capricorn, this is for Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. If this resonates with you, good deal. If not, do not worry about it. Just check the charts. Remember, this doesn't work if you don't believe in it. Just boop your nose and away we goes. Right? Right. Anyway. Let's see. What do we got up for you, dear Capricorns? Let's see. Oh yeah, newcomers. Um, if you want a personal reading, all the info is down in the description box below. First readings on the house. Everything else comes with the price, and I do take tips and donations. Thank you very kindly. Capricorns, I'm really hoping you'll actually be in, be in this reading and not the crazies who've been following you around. Oh, good lord. What is this? Ah. Mmm. Waiting for a potential offer? Mmm. Capricorns, this is more like um, someone came out of isolation, now they're standing on their own two feet, knowing their worth, and like they're taking their offer some elsewhere. That's almost what that felt like. So you might show up in my reading this time. Usually I just get other people who you're dealing with. Which is always good to know about the enemy, but you know, like... Sometimes we just want to know about ourselves. Right? Right. See what's going on. We got a lack of clarification here, or a lack of clarity in general with the Ace of Swords. When it comes to Scorpio, Cancer, Pisces, someone offering that cup of love, or at least coming to get it or some shit, right? Writing in to grab that cup, or at least worship it. The thoughts and feelings right here. King of Swords, Reverse. Libra, Aquarius, Gemini. Someone might be saying some harsh shit. Or that's what you're thinking about doing. One of the two. The root of that is because you planted flower a flower in the desert. Or someone planted a flower in the desert. And they forgot to realize that it's the fucking desert. Like, flowers don't grow there very often. It's one of those things where it's just kind of like a... Hindsight's twenty twenty almost. Like, you should have known better, but it didn't happen. Let's see. We got... Mighty Morphin Power Rangers! With the Five of Wands. Everyone's just fighting for whatever reason. Two of Cups Reverse almost popped out. Let's see. Ah, there's the Queen of Wands again. Leo Sag... Aries type. And then, oh, now we got the Two of Cups. And the vibration, the world reversed. Things didn't come together the way you thought that they would, or your person thought that they would. One of the two Capricorns. Figure out which one's which, right? Cross watchers, switch where necessary, you know. Take what you, you know is yours and leave the rest with a pound of salt. Okay? Okay. So let's see, Capricorns. I feel like there's a love combination here. This person on this side should have known better, like a Taylor Swift song. This person over here is just given to whatever they know in the past works for them. Right? A lot of conflict. Someone standing there waiting for someone to present themselves with the bitches when it came to this relationship. And I feel like you have nothing good to say about it either. But it's almost like you have some misconceptions about what this Prince of Cups was doing as well. I don't know, this person just doesn't know. Let's see, Capricorns. This Ace of Swords, right? Someone was not able to preserve and endure something. Like, they weren't able to fight it off. They came into concern. Sorry, Cora. My bad. Concern and complexity. Um, someone had a mouth about you, Capricorn. 
Like, they thought you would keep sitting there like an anchor or an essence and keep taking that shit. Saying whatever it is they could. Like, smart-ass personal shit almost, right? I feel like it was something that, like, either you or the person didn't want to fight for. But it left them kind of like... Want, broke, all that shit, right? And now they, they went down to the three. Now it's just like, I don't know what to do. They went broke, and now they're staying like kind of broke. And things aren't working out for them. Yeah, I don't know what was that in my mouth. Anyway, Prince of Cups down here. Scorpio, Cancer, Pisces type. This person, yeah, they want to reach out to you because they see you as an anchor. They think you're important now. Even though they got a mouth. That's weird. Making a quick, bold decision. They might have ran from you, too. Without really thinking about it. To that coint. Oh, okay. Oh, okay. Capricorn, this is somebody who, um... Might be your stalker. <clears throat> That'd be impressive. This person, um... I feel like this querent right here, Capricorns, they're confused. So they decided, I'm not putting up a fight, I'll just give it up. And then it was just like, all of a sudden they became concerned and, and like everything just went haywire. And now it feels like nothing's working for them anymore. Or they don't have the imagination or the ability to come up with something that would have worked. And now below it, it's like they want to offer their cup to you after they ran for some coin. Which I feel like they don't have anymore. That is very strange, Capricorns. I don't know. I mean, it could be you, but I don't feel like it. I mean, you could you could have been the one who ran for the coin instead of, like, this Prince of Cups right here. Like, you might have been the one reaching emotionally, but I don't know. It doesn't feel like you. No, I, no, I don't think it was you. I don't think it was you. I think it's your person, whoever it is. Let's again cross watch your switch where necessary. Let's see. This Ace of Swords right here. Um, the lack of clarity on why you guys separated in the first place, I feel like, is what their problem is. But they never really fought to figure it out, I think. I mean, they felt the loss. I just think that they weren't able to really come up with something to fix it. And with this Prince of Cups right here, they never started anything new because they were too busy running to the Ace. Which I feel like didn't work out for them. I do feel like they ran away from you, Capricorn. <clears throat> it might have been this Queen of Wands right here who you ran from initially, or you're moving away from to take your offer elsewhere. Like that, what came up before we started shuffling and laying cards down, that is. Ah, and everything's on the floor. Okay. <clears throat> well, the Wheel of Fortune's turning for you, if that means anything. Didn't even get a chance to say nothing. Come here. Let's see, you... I don't know, you kind of went inside yourself realizing nothing was going to come from this and you were just torturing yourself in this situation, I feel like, Capricorn. And cross-watchers, of course. Right here with this King of Swords, right? You have nothing good to say. That's how you feel. You have nothing good to say about this scenario. even know what's going on either you just knew that it made you super uncomfortable and it wasn't what you were looking for or you didn't find a treasure in it anymore like you didn't see any reason to um invest because it was just like no nah, i'm just gonna like drop this shit because it's not providing me with anything i need you know i don't even think you had a cloud i don't even feel like that's a clouded mindset it's like um
It's kind of like, um, like with those cards that came up, the, uh, Knight of Pentacles and the Page of Wands reverse. It's like, that person said some shit and now you don't even care to clarify anything anymore. Like, it makes you uncomfortable and you don't see anything worth it in the end. Just like, go ahead and keep thinking whatever you want about me. I don't give a shit. Like, you know, what are those things, right? Where it's just like, you really don't care. It's just like, you've already had enough, like, energy to do whatever you want. I'm leaving. Um, you might just manifest a new partnership, though, Capricorns. That just requires you to leave this whole, like, pain and grief behind. Because I feel like you're still kind of dragging it along. That's why you got a bad attitude about it. With the King of Swords. Or at least that's your thoughts and feelings. It could also be a Libra, Gemini, Aquarius you're feeling that way about, too. Oh, a whole bunch keep popping out. Yeah, because dude was, like, running his mouth. Acting like, you know, like, oh, I didn't mean to do that. La, 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 la. Just all unearthly and mystical. Like, they acted like you couldn't tell what they were doing, almost. Kept putting up without a front. But then something changed quickly. Some knowledge got out and like there wasn't any totality in this cycle. The world's reversed over here as well. So this is definitely someone you probably cut off. But it seems like it's for good reason as well. Seven of Pentacles reversed. You should have known better. Like a Taylor Swift song. I knew you were trouble when you walked in. Shame on me and something else, cause... I don't know, I don't really listen to Taylor Swift. I don't know, she always seems like a troublemaker too. Like, I don't know why, but she... Like, you know, it's like I was telling somebody else at some point. I can't remember when, it was like, um, you know, if you keep having the same problems with everybody around you, you're the common denominator, so it's probably you. One of those things, right? And so, so I like to say, um, you want to be some miserly security? Hmm. That got you all fucked up. You thought you could be, okay, this relationship right here, you thought you could, like, plant that seed in and grow something, but it was a fucking desert. The person was, um, bare. They were almost like a void, if you will. And you thought you could put your security in that. And that did not work out as well as, like, you had calculated, I feel like it. And that caused a need for some mental balance, symmetry, poise. I feel like... Mm. You know, sometimes I like to tell cancer or opposites, right? That, you know, people are our mind reader and we don't know what's wrong with you unless you tell us, you know? But Capricorns, I think sometimes our problem is, is that we assume people understand and observe and pay attention as much as we do. Not realizing that some people would consider that a little bit obsessive, you know? And that might have been the case. I think you were expecting this person to be on the same page mentally as you are. Or even to be at the same level of emotional maturity. You know, because there was a lot of injustice going on in this relationship. You didn't want to be tortured and crucified, you know? But I feel like it was one of those scenarios where, like... Like, I don't even think a person, like, tricked you into thinking they were something that they weren't. I don't even think it was that. I think it was just like, you know... What, they gave you attention or some shit? Like... A little bit. This world reverse, right? Let's see, I'll drop one more and then I'll pick all three up because I'm still shuffling. I don't know, I just got this feeling it was like they paid you the great kind of attention to get your attention. And that's where the, uh... It was almost like a misinformation or a miscommunication. Like, it was like a person who acted like they get invested in the people, but then it turns out they just do that just to get attention. And then they kind of tricked you with it, just a little bit, right? Alright, this world reverse. We got the hermit. You had to go inside and realize, like, some shit was fucking crazy and what was manifested. Or, you had to go inside and realize it's crazy to think that you aren't a magician. Or you are a magician. 
or something like that. Like, just, uh, I don't know. Or maybe it's like you created this almost? Not that that's a bad thing, though. Like, that's never a bad thing. Like, it's very much a good thing if you can create stuff. And I feel like you have the ability to manifest whatever Capricorns, but it's also kind of like a, you know... Like, that lack of closure or the lack of completing this cycle... I feel like it almost drove you insane. Just a little bit. Or at least this person, anyway. I don't know why I'm shuffling these cards. Because they're the wrong deck, but, you know, like, these two popped out. Someone held a relationship higher than themselves, and that's why there was no leap of faith really being taken. It's like it overshadowed who they were. Which is not good, you know? That was the wrong deck anyway. But I guess I picked him up for a reason. Anyway, let's see. This King of Swords right here. Put an end to things with that attitude. Just be like, nah! Let me let me be the dick. Let me let me be the dick. I'll, I'll go in there and slaughter everybody. Like you know that that's a, actually that's a really accurate attitude for uh, the King of Swords when he's reversed. Actually, just going in and whipping everybody's ass because he can't. You could also be dealing with a Scorpio in this as well. We got the world down here with the Seven of Pentacles reversed. So yeah, there was a completion with this cycle. Or you were expecting everything to come around in full circle the way it was supposed to. Since you were expecting something out of this and it turns out it wasn't. And over here with the world reversed, you kind of had to come to some sort of decision, Caps. Or that or this person had to come to some sort of decision. Five of Wands. Reverse. Well, not reverse. No, it's upright. I'm stupid. Never mind me. Anyway, five of wands. Um, a lot of conflict, a lot of fighting. So you made a wish. You made a wish, a desire. A hierophant, sage, mentor. It's like you followed somebody, or you had someone lead the way, or you were wise enough to know that you weren't going to get a victory with all of this back and forth. Or maybe you were making a wish that somehow you could teach somebody that all this conflict isn't going to bring a victory. Because, you know, no one wants to be in, like, a freaking um, hostile environment. That shit's annoying. You know, nobody likes that shit. Hmm. Let's see. Queen of Wands. Standing there with little witchy shoes and a friend just sitting there waiting. Hands on hips, being really impatient. You know, like, she wants an end to all this, like, this stress and confusion, right? But then we got the Emperor over here. It's like they want things their way. He's not reverse. So that's, a, I mean, it could be a good thing. I don't know. But it's like, they want over, they want to be the overlord and have the supremacy. Like, it's like they want the control, or they want it to go the way they want it to. Like, they're hard-headed, they're stubborn. Um, that's probably why the King of Swords is putting the death to everything. Like, just swooping in, like, final kill. Um, this Queen of Wands knows the rope. She's not an idiot. She knows how to... Okay, yeah. This Queen of Wands right here, whoever she is you're dealing with, Capricorn, is the one you're not riding towards as the Knight of pentacles with an offer you're riding away from her still think of her yes but the way she wants to end things is her way but it's almost like because she knows how it's supposed to go or she's not a fool about how this goes like she knows how to do it she's just sitting there waiting for you to come up and like you know do it her way, I feel like. Like, she needs the control, which is like, oh, okay, well, whatever. Two of Cups. Um, this relationship right here. There's a lot of intensity and hunger with the Knight of Swords. 
but there's nothing to wonder about. There's nothing to be curious about. Like it's like you know what you both know the ropes of this relationship. So you're not really impressed by all the options that are in front of you. In front of you, you have like the intention for it, yes, but it's like it's it's only to fulfill it. So you feel like you know what's all in the cup. Like what else is in store for me? Um, I just want to know what's in there so I can make an actual. Uh, analyzation of what my options are before I get like screwed over yet again you know um, so you can be not so dazed and confused the next time you know because being bitter and shit is just never fun you know I feel like you have an intention and hunger for a new relationship anyway But you really want to know a person before you do that. It's just like, you know what, I'm not getting close to anybody unless I know their freaking social security number just for the fucking sake that we've known each other that well. You know? Like one of those things, right? Um, all this conflict and shit, like just slam the fucking door in your face. Just, that's all. That's what you're gonna have to do. Um, slam the door, call it quits, just be like, I want a divorce, and then just never talk to that person again. Just come in and video in court. Tell them to mute, to mute everybody else in the court just so you can keep talking so you don't have to hear your ex go crazy or whatever, right? Uh, this feels like dealing with this Queen of Wands is a waste of your time and energy. Um, it's like you'd only do so if you're looking like a martyr or whatever, and it's just like you already know each other very well. It's just why would you want to do that, you know? And you're going to be sitting and waiting a bit before you try to deal with another person again, I think, which is fair. Especially when it was like this much la 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 or whatever, right? But yeah, I, I completely understand that kind of words. So, that's been your reading, y'all. If you enjoyed this, please like, share, subscribe. I greatly appreciate it. No pressure, of course. That's all up to you. But that's all I have for you guys this time. Love your faces, and I will see you later. Bye-bye.